My name is Christopher Tepp from uh, Grow Area Fertilizers. We are producers of Grow Area Organic Liquid Fertilizer. We decided to bring in this agriculture drone into PNG uh, so that it will be used together with our product. Uh, this is an aerial drone. Uh, it's part of the precision uh, agricultural equipment. This is the first time uh, this drone uh, has been imported into PNG. Uh, we do not have a plantation, but we brought it into PNG to demonstrate the technology itself and the use of our product. Uh, the equipment is uh, a precision equipment. Uh, it's designed together with a, a terrain radar so that it can spray up the hills, down the hills. Uh, it also has a, a sensor, an obstacle sensor. Uh, it can avoid trees, uh, power poles, power lines. Uh, the product that we are seeing now is a uh, 5 liters, uh, 10 liters uh, drone. Uh, it can be able to lift up to uh, 100 liters. The sizes are quite big. Uh, this one can uh, do uh, five hectares in one hour. It can cover five hectares in one hour. And uh, it can spray 10 liters. Uh, it's a smart, uh, it's using a smart technology. Uh, when it goes out spraying, uh, and when the chemical, uh, the tank is empty, it will return back to base itself. We do the refilling, it goes back and restarts exactly at the same spot that it came off from because it has a geo plotting system in its software that can identify and track itself from all the movement. So this is the drone, uh, agriculture uh, drone, uh, the first one in PMG. Okay. Have you uh, tried it out already? We brought it into PNG on Friday and Saturday, Sunday and today, Monday, it's coming on display. At the end of this week, we will do the recalibration of the equipment and we will do the first test flight and spray on Sunday. Where, where will you be doing your first We test? will do this at PAU farm because their farm is big. Uh, they have uh, fruit trees growing, vegetables growing. So we will try to spray uh, fruits, vegetables and the nuts that are growing there. We will spray different heights, different speeds. We will also calibrate the amount of chemical that is used. And so we will also do a cost benefit analysis and we can be able to share this information with all our other farmers and plantations in PNG. Okay. Now, uh, drone technology is used all over the world in big farms around the world. And uh, so, what can you talk about its potential here in Papua New Guinea? The potential in PNG is huge because there is a huge technology lapse in PNG. We are still using 40 years old technology which are the tractors and the tractors have a limitation to them because they can only go as far as where the road can lead. But the drone technology it goes beyond that. Uh, it's cheaper to purchase, it's cheaper to maintain, and uh, it does aerial spraying. Uh, these are the propellers. This is the nozzle here. The propellers are very, very powerful. It presses a thrust of air down, and this air is able to spread the liquid that is coming out. And this liquid evenly covers. In one fly, it can do up to five meters. Five meters going forward, turns around, and comes back again. So it can cover five meters. And that's quite wider than a back-carried knapsack. Very efficient uh, to do the spray. And the cost is, of course, less water, less chemical, uh, does not require fuel like a tractor, does not require four tires to be maintained, and all that cost that is required to maintain a tractor on a plantation is eliminated by this piece of equipment. Mm. And just to the spray. So where do you get it from? 
This one was picked up from China. We also encourage other farmers and people in PNG to pick this one up. Mm. We are happy to show them. This is how much, how much would one of these cost? Uh, this thing used to be very cheap. Five years ago, when I started talking with the, the manufacturers, it was very, very cheap. It was only $2,000. When we landed this one, after Kina losing its value, we landed it in Port Mosby for 30,000 Kina. But 30,000 Kina? It's a good investment. 30,000 Kina is not big. Yeah. One bag of cocoa is selling at 2,000 Kina a bag. So how many bags of cocoa? Only one season, only you buy a drone and that's it. Bingo. The drone will stay for many years. All the parts can be replaced as they were, and the drone still remains. It's a precision equipment. It's a very intelligent equipment also, and it can do its own work. Can you just uh, give me a close-up of how you, how you operate this thing? We have the control panel of the drone is sitting here. Uh, that's the control panel. These are the spray nozzles. Uh, this is the spray hose. And this is the spray tank. And this is the spray pump. We have the camera right here. We have the lights on the side. The front is the uh, radar for uh, obstacle radar and the terrain radar is underneath terrain radar is underneath we have four nozzles on all the four wings and the drive pressure of the propellers drive the uh, chemical spray down onto the leaves of all the plants on the farm so that's basically the drone these are the arms the arms are made of uh, aviation grade aluminium which means they can withstand the weather and they can stay for a long time uh, the thing is 10 liters it comes with a battery which is rechargeable uh, we've got two things here when one is flying we refill the other one on standby we have also spare battery uh, charged and ready as soon as the one on the drone is uh, weak, we just replace it with a spare battery. Uh, the, the drone has a brushless motor, uh, meaning that uh, with the brushes, the brush will wear out and the motor will wear out also. But this is brushless, meaning that the motor will run for many, many years, many, many years without uh, repair. So basically, you know, it's a very smart equipment to do agriculture spray. And we are happy to introduce this Money. technology into PNG. This yes. is the first agriculture drone in Papua New Yes, I, I, I haven't heard of uh, anyone using it for agriculture purposes yet. Yeah? This is the Hello. first agriculture drone. And we are excited. We don't own a plantation. We don't own a farm, not even an estate. But we brought this technology in just to support our product, Groarep Organic Liquid Fertilizer. Because the main, the, main, uh, the main chemical that will be used for spraying is organic fertilizer. But pesticides, insecticides can also be sprayed together. So this is our smart drone and we are all excited to get it out to the field and see how it goes. Uh, we also want to change the... Uh, landscape of agriculture in PNG and uh, that is why we are combining technology with our product. Uh, we have a smart product and we are bringing in a smart technology putting them together we want to uh, change the landscape of agriculture in PNG. This is Groharia organic liquid fertilizer. Uh, we also have this as the first product in PNG uh, it's 100% organic. Uh, it's one of the fertilizers that are used in agriculture. Uh, most of the fertilizers available in PNG are all uh, in 
solid form uh, and all are chemical. Uh, but Kurane of organic liquid fertilizer is 100% organic. Uh, it's made in PNG. Uh, the source ingredients are also local and they are also 100% organic. Uh, the processing is uh, uh, non-chemical related, heat treated, uh, maintaining process of extraction uh, and uh, the product uh, works on all plants uh, including food crops, vegetables, fruit trees, nuts, spice. Uh, it can be used on literally all the plants. Uh, the, the drone that we brought in is to bring these two technology together uh, for the fertilizer to be used on bigger plantations for the plantations to use our product uh, they cannot the tractors are very difficult to enter in because they always drive on the side and uh, to carry a spray pack at the back to spray a plantation is almost impossible and so we have the drone with us. The drone is going to do the spring using the organic liquid fertilizer. Uh, this will be the main product. Uh, the difference between uh, organic and chemical is that uh, the contents of our product, uh, the derivatives, uh, the sugars in there, they are all organic. Uh, meaning that as soon as they enter the environment, after two days, they dissipate. They do not leave any trace behind. They enter the soil and they enter the plant, leaving behind no trace. And uh, whatever is uh, sprayed on is absorbed into the plants. So this is for uh, spraying directly onto the leaves of plants. And uh, uh, they can be applied as liquid around the trees but it's highly recommended to be sprayed on the leaves because the leaves have stomata leaves stomata and the stomata opens every morning when the sun rises so when it's sprayed on the leaves it's directly absorbed into the plant system and uh, the plant uses it for its uh, processes inside its system and that's how the plant food is received uh, so it's through the uh, leaves, but the remaining on the leaves, it's washed down in the evening and it enters the root and the roots also absorb them. Yeah. So that's basically how uh, uh, grow area enters the root system of plants. There's also another piece of it information that I want to say is that our product has been independently tested in Australia, Australian Laboratory Services, ASL. They are an independent uh, lab uh, based around the world, but they are also based in Australia and Brisbane. Uh, our product was uh, sent to them for independent testing, verification, and uh, it has met the requirements of uh, uh, requirements that are set the guidelines so it falls our product falls within the guidelines uh, it's not too excessive uh, the contents is just within the guidelines for uh, plant absorption and we are happy to introduce our product GrowRap to the farming community in PNG together with the drone that we brought in uh, we want uh, this to change uh, farm production increase uh, farm volume and then also bring the quality up and maintain the volume so that we can consistently get high quality fruits, nuts, vegetables, including tree crops uh, for export. So we recommend that uh, every farm, farmers in PNG, big plantations, to use Proarev organic liquid fertilizer, starting from the nursery all the way to the field, and also to be sprayed on matured plants using the drone that we brought into PNG. Thank you so much.